Well, this video is for Rich and Lynette that concerns Miller Coors LLC. Before we discuss Miller Coors and its products, I just want to briefly review how we got to this point in the class with you. Now, the first step of any analysis that you're undertaking is to determine who your stakeholders are. Now, to that end, think looking outwardly at your customer's marketing. In other words, look at demographics, age, sex, what kind of beer they like, why they like that kind of beer, etc. Okay? And then, doing a, the T part of the SWOT analysis, you might want to look at who your competitors are. Now, obviously, InBev is a competitor. Constellation Brands, another one that's mentioned as a uh, competitor. But there are also all kinds of little craft beers out there as well. And they might be using corn syrup. We don't know. But those are who the stakeholders are going to be in this discussion. And once you've identified who you believe to be the most pertinent stakeholders, and don't be limited by the folks that are at our meeting, okay? Um, the next question is going to be, what is the issue? And here the in thing that's interesting that I want to submit to you is the fact that InBev is focusing on Bud Light, but they're insinuating that they're corn syrup free throughout the entire company. And that might be an Achilles heel for InBev, and it might give you some um, ability to press home the point that Miller, Miller Coors Company is producing just as good a product. Now, Let's consider for a second Miller Coors, big company. Here's the interesting thing. Did a little research. This is their product line. Um, and I, don't worry, um, I'll post the, uh, the PowerPoint, these pictures, just so that you can see them. Um, Miller Coors makes a whole lot of different beers. And really, only one of those, Miller Light and Coors Light, are really the subject of what's going on here. Bud Light is the only product that InBev has mentioned that it's not going to use corn syrup on. So it begs the question, are they using to, uh, through insinuation that all their products don't have corn syrup and thus are superior, I guess, to the Miller Coors product that does have it? Or is this just um, a, 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 almost like a three-card Monty game? Indeed, they are using corn syrup, just you don't see where they're using it. And obviously, for Miller Corporation, where they, these are, because they're out front, you can guess these are probably their two biggest products, they want to protect this market share. And how are they going to do that? Well, ethically, they could come back and they could say, really, uh, we don't use corn syrup uh, in the way that's being suggested in the ad. Okay, and, and pushback would come that way. Or the argument could be made that maybe InBev is not being too ethical in the way that they're projecting how they use corn syrup. So there's different ways that you could look at it. It'll depend on who you select as your stakeholders for the um, discussion. Um, and then you'll be able to go from there with it, okay? If you have any questions, you can always feel free to reach out and give me a call. Happy to help. But I just want to give you some direction, thinking about, again, what product is InBev talking about, what product is Coors Miller looking at to protect, and how do you see those abilities of marketing and doing the SWOT analysis to identify who the parties are that might be having issues with this case. Hope this helps. See you in class. Give me a call if you've got any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.